Rightio, so now it's time to configure the Zabbix front end. We should now connect to our newly installed Zabbix front end at that address there. Now, the server IP or name, I got my IP address from DigitalOcean. So I know my IP address, but if I didn't know it, one of the things that I could do is type um, if config, there it is. And if I just scroll up, and uh, there it is. That's my public IP because this server's on the internet. So I'm just going to copy that and then put that in there. And there we go. That's the Zabbix front end up and running. Let's continue. Next step. Okay, it all looks okay. Excellent. There's a lot of stuff in there. Next step. The database, MySQL, local host, because it is local. Database port is zero. Database name is obviously there. The password was just password. Remember, I'll be changing this later. Enter the uh, Zabbix server details. We can just leave that defaults for now. Next step. Print install summary. All good. Next step. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Zabbix front end. Now the configuration file is here. User shares Zabbix conf, Zabbix conf PHP. Finish. Okay, so let's log in. The default username on this is admin and Zabbix. This is not the same as the database password. This is just the default front end. Username and password. Sign in. There we go. We're logged in. Excellent. That's Zabbix server.